This week, I got several calls from small business owner clients, all of whom had employees test positive for COVID-19. They were all looking for advice about how to handle the situation. So here's four steps built around having a COVID-19 policy in your workplace. First, create a COVID-19 response policy. Second, communicate the policy. Third, follow the policy. And fourth, keep the policy current. So let's talk about what that policy should look like right now. I'm Greg Gordillo. I've been an employment lawyer and have represented small business owners for more than 25 years. I'm here to give you tips and insight into how to use the law to turn your dreams and visions for your small business into actions and results. Now on this channel, we focus on how to build your business with a solid lift foundation of great legal, insurance, financial, and tax systems. So if that interests you, consider subscribing. Now today, we're gonna to talk about part of your legal system for your business, and in particular, an employment policy to deal with COVID-19. Your legal system should have policies to deal with virtually every aspect of the employment relationships within your business. But given the novel nature of COVID-19, well, it's very possible that you still need to get this one in place. If so, here's what it should include when you're dealing with a positive test result from an employee. First, Ask your employees to report if they've tested positive for COVID-19 or have symptoms of COVID-19. Second, for any employee testing positive or showing symptoms of COVID-19, let them know that they're gonna be asked to, well, stay at home or leave work. Uh, and then your policy should also outline whether and when the employees are gonna be permitted to work remotely. Your policy should be clear that an employee with COVID should stay home until at least 10 days have passed since the symptoms first appeared and at least three days have passed since the employee's fever is gone without uh, needing medication and that their respiratory systems have improved. Alternatively, the employee should stay home until two tests are taken at least 24 hours apart and get negative results. Now a third option is that the sick employee gets certification from their doctor to say that they can safely return to work. And keep in mind that uh, but doctors right now are so busy that it might be more than you should expect to get a formal certification. And perhaps anything in writing like an email will be sufficient. Your policy should also let employees know that the sick employee will be expected to report to the employer every employee with whom the sick employee has been in close contact. Now let's talk about the part of the policy that deals with what the employer's obligations will be. The policy should be clear that if an employee reports a positive test, the employer will A, limit disclosing the identity of the employee to only those people who need to know, B, maintain confidentiality of the report by the sick employee to the full extent that's possible and required by law, but C, the employer also has to uh, notify individuals who've been in close contact with the sick employee that an individual has tested positive or shown symptoms. Now the policy should also specify that while the employer will not disclose the name of the sick employee, it is possible in the name of safety and public health that the identity of the sick employee is going to be known to others as a result of the report to them. This is especially true for you small and micro business owners where you only have a few employees. But nevertheless, uh, as they say, you don't want to disclose the name, but it's perfectly okay to tell the other employees that one of them has tested positively or has shown symptoms of COVID-19. And finally, you should advise employees that you're going to be notifying the public health authorities that might be required by law. In addition, some other things that you need to be uh, doing and have in your policy should be clear that the, as an employer, you're going to take immediate steps to clean and disinfect the areas in which the sick employee worked. Uh, sometimes this is going to mean closing down a portion or all of the business for some time, and your employees should know to expect that if this happens. And if you're not already doing so, you should initiate taking daily body temperatures for all the employees who are reporting for work every day. The policy should let employees know that the employer will inquire of every employee whether they have been in close contact with anyone diagnosed with or exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. Okay, so the quick recap, create a policy, communicate the policy, follow the policy, and revise it as needed. So this is a general outline for what a COVID-19 policy should look like for dealing with employees who test positive or show signs of COVID-19. 
Now, at the risk of sounding like a robo-lawyer, I have to warn you. First, this is general advice only. Uh, second, for specific advice, you need to consult with a lawyer in your jurisdiction. I'm licensed only in Nevada and in Ohio. Make sure your lawyer has plenty of experience with employment laws. You and your lawyer are going to need it on this issue. As a family business lawyer with most of my experience in employment matters, I can help if your business is in Nevada or Ohio. Contact me to help keep you and your business out of court and out of conflict. And if you'd like tips like this on a weekly basis, I'll provide a link where you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter that will get sent to you directly every Friday. Now, if you got value from this video, please hit the like button for us and share it with your friends. Stay safe and stay healthy, everybody.